Today we're making one of the most famous Italian soups, probably one of the most famous soups in the world. We're making minestrone. Let's go. One of the great things about minestrone is that you can customize it really any way that you like. It's a great way to use up extra vegetables. Yeah, there's lots of room for interpretation, whether or not you use potatoes or you use pasta, whether or not you like green beans, whether or not you like Italian white beans. There are tons of recipes out there that you can follow. Today, we are going to use, I think, the most famous Italian home cook, I guess you would say. She has my favorite Italian cookbook. We're talking about Marcella Hazan. This recipe for minestrone, it takes a little longer than some of the others that are out there. That's mostly simmering time. Not a lot more work, but you get a lot more depth of flavor. You really just get a better soup. If you have that little bit of extra time, following this recipe is going to get you a fantastic minestrone soup. Let's not talk much more about it. Let's jump in the kitchen and let's make Marcella Hazan's minestrone soup. So we're starting the minestrone with zucchini. A lot of the weights and measures in this recipe are going to be open to interpretation. If you get close with this recipe, it's still going to be just as good. So what we're going to start off doing is soaking the zucchini in a large bowl of water for about about 20 minutes and we'll set this aside. We have enough time to prepare the rest of our veggies. We'll start with an onion. We're gonna thinly slice this. A few carrots that I'm going to dice, that I'm going to peel and dice. Celery, trying to keep it about the same size as the carrots. And the last of the root vegetables, we're gonna use potato. I think she's using this instead of pasta, which I'm a little bit more familiar with. Marcel Hazan knows what she's talking about, so let's use potatoes. We're gonna dice these, again, trying to keep them about the same size as our vegetables so far. I'm supposed to peel these. Green beans that I'm gonna prepare just by cutting off the ends. I'm gonna cut this into thirds, maybe quarters. I got a whole head of cabbage that I'm going to break down and shred. And with almost perfect timing, my zucchini's done. Dice these as well. Cut them in half to make them a little more manageable. That's it for our vegetables. We've got a lot of them. Let's move to our stove and start turning this into a soup. We need a big pot. This is gonna make a lot of soup. We're gonna add some olive oil and some butter. Start this over medium low heat. So each of these vegetables is going to cook at a different time, which means we need to add each of them separately. Stages is really important here. Start with our onions. We're not looking for color really on any of these vegetables. We're just trying to cook out some of the water. These have sort of turned pale, a little bit golden, but no color yet. So we can move on to our next step. Our carrots are our next vegetable to go in, not the uh, celery, just the carrots. Two to three minutes to start these cooking. Celery is next. Basically, we're just gonna repeat this process until all our vegetables in. Stir it around. Next are the potatoes. Everything is getting really nicely coated in the butter and the oil that we added at the beginning and really slowly starting to cook. Next to the green beans. Now the zucchini. Last but not least, I'm gonna add my shredded cabbage. Now that everything's added, I'm gonna give this about six minutes or so, so everything can get to know each other. I'm gonna keep stirring. I really don't want anything to stick to the bottom and burn, so keep an eye on it, five or six minutes, and then we'll carry on. This has been going for about another six minutes. Smells incredible so far. Well, the last thing that we need to do is add in some liquid that is going to turn this into a soup. I'm using chicken stock. You could use vegetable stock, beef stock. It's really up to you. Some whole tomatoes. 
the rind of some Parmesan cheese. Gonna take this completely up a level and give it just incredible flavors. Tiny sprinkling of salt. I was using store-bought broth, so I wanna be really careful with the salt because they add salt to those. Veer on the side of caution here because we can season afterwards. It's really hard to take seasoning out. Cover the pot. This is gonna cook for two and a half hours. hours. Let's take a look. Starting to thicken up. Tomato is almost all broken down. The last thing that we need to do is add our white beans. Now I'm using Spanish beans. You're supposed to use the Italian white beans, the cannellini, I think is how you say it, beans. These are the ones that I could find. This isn't completely Italian anymore. I let this cook for another 30 minutes or so. I want a really, really thick and dense soup not something sort of thin and watery. 30 minutes should do it. It should allow the beans to absorb some of the flavor and to combine with the rest of the soup. So after 30 minutes, our soup is really thick. Everything's incorporated. We only have one more thing to do. Well, two more things to do. We need to find the Parmesan rind that's in here somewhere. All right, I can't find it. We'll find it when we serve this. But we are gonna add a bit more Parmesan cheese Let's give it a try. You know, the Parmesan that we just added is really salty. There's a Parmesan rind in there. That's why you wanna be really careful when you season this at the beginning to not put too much in. Just a little sprinkle, and we are almost ready to plate this up. This is a bowl of Marcella Hazan's minestrone. You know, it's thick. Vegetables are all really well cooked. We're using potatoes and kidney beans, but as usual, let's give it a try. It's really good. It feels healthy. There's so much vegetables in here. You know, we had carrots and onions, and potatoes and cabbage, and there's beans. Really, really good. Apparently with this soup, it gets better the next day or even the day after. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you get a chance to make this minestrone soup. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. There's the Parmesan rind. How soft it got. Get that out of there. Mm, super delicious.